Visual Studio Code has a new feature where you can actually debug code running in a browser right inside Visual Studio Code instead of having to open developer tools in the browser and go through all that. So yeah, right in your code base, you can debug. Let me show you. By the way, this is the article announcing that. It's on the Microsoft blog site. I'll link to it down below. It says if you're debugging JavaScript in Visual Studio Code, you probably have used either the Chrome debugger or Microsoft Edge debugger. By the way, I'm going to show Chrome here. I don't have Edge on this machine, but same thing can be done in Edge, except Edge has one more feature that you might want to check out. And if you read this post, you'll see that Edge has this extra feature where you can actually inspect the DOM right inside VS Code as well. That's pretty cool. But let's take a look at VS Code and Chrome now. So I'm going to do this in a couple of projects. One is just going to be a plain, basic HTML page with JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript. Then I'm going to take a look at React. And finally, we'll take a look at an Angular with TypeScript project. So here's an empty folder, nothing in here. I'm going to create an index.html file. And I'm going to use Emmet here. So I'm going to do a bang. And it's going to complete for me the entire structure of a basic document. Pretty cool, huh? So here's our body. Hi there. And uh, let's say I want to run this. I can press Control Backtick. And I have a little tool called Live Server installed. You can just install it using npm global install live server. And I run it just like this in this folder. And it's going to bring up the browser running my application. How simple is that? It's a little small. So I'm going to blow it up here to 400%. And it says hi there. And if I want to update my index.html file with hi there too, it'll automatically detect the change and update the running application. Nice. Okay, now we need some JavaScript in here. So let's go with script.js. And we're going to do a very basic thing where we print to the console. Hi there. Yes, this is valid JavaScript. But because I'm not waiting for a body load event, I need to put this JavaScript reference at the end of the body tag. And we're going to do it like this script source equals and there's copilot trying to help me out loading jQuery, but we need this local script.js file. And there we go. So we've loaded that. And if we take a look at the running application, I do want to open up the console here just so I can see the console printing out hi there. And there it is. Now I'm going to move my windows apart just a little bit so we can have both of these open. Now the next step if you want to debug this JavaScript in Visual Studio Code is we're going to go to the debugger tab right here. And we're going to click on run and debug. This will give you a few options. These weren't available before. But here are the options you can have Chrome, Edge and so on. I'm going to select Chrome because that's the browser I want to use right now to debug this code. So I'm going to select that option and it's going to create a new file. We take a look at the folder structure, you have this new dot VS code folder with a launch.json file inside, which looks like this. So this tells you what port we're going to open and live server happens to open the same port as the launch configuration shows, which is 8080. That's not always the case as you'll see with react and angular. So you'll need to manually change that port here. But but this will give you the name of the task that it's going to run configuration, I should say tasks or something else. So why don't we just go ahead and try it? We already have this live server running. And I'm going to go back to the debug tab. And up here, we have a little play button. And from the drop down, we can select launch Chrome against localhost. So that's the name of this configuration launch Chrome against localhost. If we press play here, nothing's going to happen because we don't have a breakpoint in our script. So we need to put a breakpoint right there. And I'm going to click launch and it's going to start up a new instance of the browser, run the application and attach the debugger to it. So right now, the browser is waiting for the debugger, it says paused in debugger, and it's waiting for us to debug the application right here, we can step over continue or stop debugging. If I go ahead and continue, it's going to run the, the rest of the application. So that's pretty nifty and very simple. Now, if we want to do this with react, all I had to do was create a new react application using create react app. This is what it looks like. If if we pop open source, you'll see that it is a JavaScript project and we have our app component right there. You can put breakpoints in here because this is even though it looks like HTML, it's JSX. So it is JavaScript. So I can put my breakpoint right there on that return line. And that's the line I want to debug. So let's add a configuration, I'm going to go to my debugger tab, click run and debug, select Chrome, it's going to create that launch.json file again. And you'll notice that the port is the same. However, the way we run this react application is by issuing the command npm start. So let's let's go ahead and do that. It's going to open it up in a different port, not the port that we're expecting. So npm 
start, there's our development server, and you'll see that it actually starts up on port 3000, localhost 3000. So we need to go back to our launch.json configuration here and just change this from 8080 to 3000. Once we do that, we have the app running. We can go back to the debugger tab and click on the play button. It'll attach to our debugger. The debugger will attach to our running application in Chrome and pause on that breakpoint. How cool is that? I like it. Now you can drill into some deep down React code if you're really curious to find out what's going on behind the scenes inside that JavaScript on line 15,034. I'm actually not, so I'm going to continue and continue. And there's React debugging in VS Code. Very cool. Now these are all JavaScript files and uh, Angular is another framework that we can use. That one by default uses TypeScript. So here I've created a brand new Angular application using the Angular CLI and I can do the exact same thing here go to the debugger tab run and debug and then select chrome here and uh, if you take a look at the source code you'll see that instead of javascript we now have typescript code in here so let's go to app component maybe i want to put a breakpoint right here on line 9 where the title is being set inside the app component or initialized and there's one other thing here if we run this application using ng serve that's the way to run it using the angular cli it needs to get built and there we go. Now the server is listening on port 4200. So yet a different port. So make sure you take 4200 and you go to launch.json and instead of 8080 here you put 4200 there and now you'll be able to debug. Now first we need to open up this in a browser and there's the application and let's go back to the debug tab. We're gonna hit play again and this should pause on our breakpoint right there on type. So now we can debug this as well just like that. So hopefully this was helpful to you. I find this very convenient. I like not leaving my environment when debugging. There are some benefits to debugging inside Chrome as well, but this provides the convenience of doing it right in your code base. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you next time.